My name is Mike Cronin from NodeH. I'd like to showcase some technology that we demonstrated recently at Fertocells Asia in Singapore. This is a VAP based upon the Purcell NodeH technology. The diagram here shows the setup. On the left is a NodeH simulator, which simulates a core network in the Femtocell gateway. It's also got a built-in FTP server. On the bottom right is the Femtocell, and on the top right is a netbook with an off-the-shelf HSPA USB stick. The simulator is a very powerful tool allowing our customers to do development including high-speed data, HSUPA, HSDPA and many calls without expensive ancillary equipment. The femtocell itself is from one of our customers and the netbook with the dongle is shown here. It's a, a Huawei stick is shown here in the actual demonstration uh, we use a CR wireless dongle. In the demonstration, we'll start off showing a call. We'll then do a HS UPA at 5.76 megabits per second. This is the highest speed that has been shown yet on a single chip Femtocell. While the HS UPA transfer is running, we'll then run a HS DPA transfer. Let's make it a video call. Accept the call and allow the video image to be sent. And there we are. So here we start a transfer of a 30 megabyte file from on the left hand side my computer, on the right hand side the FTP server. So this means that it's an uplink transfer. You can see where the cursor is there. The number is rising to over 500 kilobytes per second. So that's clearly a HSUPA at 5.76 megabits per second. Now we select a 50 megabyte file for HSDPA transfer. That HSUPA transfer is the equivalent of a five minute video being uploaded to YouTube. Now we're doing a HSDPA transfer which would be downloading something perhaps onto your phone to look at a say a 10 minute video. We can see the speed is fluctuating between about 500 and 800 kilobytes per second. Now you'll notice as the HSUPA runs to completion the speed of the HSDPA will dramatically increase up to its saturated level at about 1.35 megabytes per second. It then continues itself until completion. And we've, during this short period of time, transferred 30 megabyte file in the uplink and a 50 megabyte file in the downlink, simultaneously running two video calls. So, to summarize what we've seen here, we've seen uh, data speeds which easily saturate the DSL bandwidth both on the uplink and on the downlink and probably on average at least that will be enough for the next several years at most operators. In addition, the calls, but in fact the number of calls that can be supported in parallel by this device is 8. Uh, there's a chip option which would make it 16. And the overall price of the device can be well under the $100 level. So this is really what the operators have been looking for for the last several years. And with the IUH interoperability testing now being proven in the next, uh, next few months. There should be the opportunity for many operators to roll out Femtocell services uh, over the coming one, two years.